carriage is the safest way to travel. Where do you want to go? Sit back and enjoy the ride. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some accounts. They say the big old palace there was built by Ysgrimor himself. We're almost there. Windhelm's just ahead. Enjoyed the ride. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Kinds grow this time. No secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. Who's going to stop him? Me? I'll have no part of that. Trouble? Loyal lords are always welcome here. Anyone else better watch their step. Staying out of trouble, kinsman. You hear the news? There's a dragon roosting up on Mount Anthor to the northwest. I have to wonder, what does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thuan be taught? Like any skill. city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. <coughs> oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Mm-hmm. Will you spare a few coins to help someone who's got nothing? If you've got some time, stop by my house of curiosities. I promise you'll see wonders. I ain't asking for much. Just a few septums. Yes? Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. The divine smile on a chap soul.
Everyone says Jorl and Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. I don't see these troubles as business. This is a labor of honor. To bring Ulfric his rightful glory, I would hammer a thousand shields. Shores bones. I might just have to. Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in Whiterun. I respect Jorlin, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter. If that makes any sense. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Have you been learning your oars? I think I've got a handle on it, but Orichalcum is confusing. Don't even bother with that one. Leave it to the oars. Oh right, that makes sense. Kind of a messy metal anyway. Exactly. Smithing isn't the most exciting thing for me, but we all have to lend a hand as best we can. If a Stormcloak uses one of my swords to strike down an Imperial soldier, then I've done my part to free our land. Every Nord should admire Ulfric. He fights for all of us. In fact, he's the reason I chose to learn the smithing trade. I want to make weapons and armor for the great Stormcloak army. All right then. Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing to help in the fight for Skyrim's freedom. Those Thalmor elves, too. I bet they're working together. Maybe I should round up some men and take us a few prisoners to interrogate. They're parasites. They're living in our city under our protection. But what do they do for us? Nothing. I know the High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Maybe he should have. Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! Don't think I can take you? One hundred septums say I can punch you back where you came from. Pit bait. Mm-hmm. Come on in. We've got this warm one's a favorite food, of mine. warm drinks, and a legend warm beds. we all know and love. Our hero, our Think hero you might be in the wrong place, friend. I tell you, I tell you if you're looking to pass the time, you can give Calixto a few septims and gawk at whatever oddity he's come across lately. If you're in need of goods, there's a market. If it's a soft bed and a hot meal you're after, there's Candlehearth Hall. There's an author named Adonato staying at the inn. He's published a few works of historical fiction. The clans Shattershield and Krulsi see most of the gold that passes through the city. And obviously you have Ulfric, the Jarl and future High King. Oh, and that busybody Viola Giordano. She's got her nose in everyone's business, which I guess is one way of being prominent. Well, nothing. At least not anymore. Folk just call me that because of what I used to do. I was a sailor for many a year. I made my coin as a trader, and in time, I bought my own ship. When I retired here in Windhelm, most folk already knew me as Captain Lonely Gale, and the name just stuck. All right, then. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. I tell you, I tell you, 
Did you see the candle above the fire upstairs? It was lit 163 years ago, back when this building was the home of a grand warrior named Vundhai. When word came that he'd fallen, his son Durok lit the candle in his honor. Nobody knows why it still burns. Magic. Goodness, not here. Nothing dangerous like that. That's all kept to that college up in Winterhold. Better that than dealing with Ulfric's wizard like some do. This is an ode to Skyrim's truest sons and daughters. Enjoy your stay, and don't break nothing. We drink to our Do you know about Talos? He founded the Empire. Blessings of Talos be upon you. Oh, great. Another wanderer. I openly welcome the presence of armed strangers who have no reason to care about any of us. Not now. Yeah, what? You are the High King. In your great honor we drink and we sing. We're the children of Skyrim. Name's News. I'm the cook up at Candleheart Hall. Every one of us dies. Can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have the little bits, too. We're the only temple in Skyrim that can openly worship Talos. Talos, who in life was known as Tiber Septim, united Tamriel and founded the Empire. He was rewarded for his deeds by being joined with the Divines in eternal glory. The only mortal to do so. We worship him that we might follow in his path. We can't literally join him in the heavens, but we may do our best to know them here on Nern. Too few remember to honor Talos. Do not be one of those. Those awful Thalmor can't touch us thanks to Ulfric. The Empire's elven puppet masters never cared much for the idea of a human becoming a divine. So the worship of Talos is outlawed. Skyrim doesn't take kindly to being told what to do. And to try and forget Talos, well, they may as well ordered us all to cut off our ears. Blessings of Talos be upon you. What is it? Not now. I still can't believe Isabella's gone. She was such a helpful young lass. I'm a writer by trade. Not that the people of Skyrim do much reading. I write drama, friend. The legends and history of Skyrim made to excite and inspire. Poor Gerard Germain at the Bard's College has been waiting for my latest work, Olaf and the Dragon. For weeks now, roads are a mess. You're sure? When you see Gerard ask for a tip, I'm sure he'll be in a good mood after reading this. May you lose yourself in the pages of a good book. Need something? Sure. What can I do for you? Sure. What can I do for you? Yes. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. With a voice-wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed, and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know, the dragonborn's come. Yes?
You're going to try and sell me something? I ain't interested. Yeah, what? Captain! Captain! What is it now, Viola? Did you notice that the snow settles in a different direction near the murder sites? Don't you think all your tramping around there investigating might have something to do with it? I... well... perhaps. But still, it's curious. I don't owe you money, do I? Hmm, hmm. How can Elda hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little about them? Thanks for wasting my time. <coughs> Got some fresh baked bread? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. know if there's anything else you need. Mind you don't get back. Take a look. You don't put out that candle on the hearth upstairs. Mister, would you like to buy some flowers, please? Not much, but I hope you like them. They're... they're dead. My mama died when I was little. I... I don't remember her very well. My father was a Stormcloak soldier. One day he left and didn't come back. I'm all alone. I... I try to sell flowers so I can buy food. It's not much, but... What else can I do? Stop by again! Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament? Trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimvar. Always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! Huh. Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Hmm, yes. It is quite sad. A young boy, Aventus Aretino, lost his mother recently and was sent to an orphanage. But he has returned home, and people have heard strange chanting. They say it's the Black Sacrament, the ritual to contact the Dark Brotherhood. 
why a little boy would want to contact a group of murderers is beyond me. But he is inviting evil into this city. Mm -hmm. The Imperials think we need their laws. speak to Ulfric soon, but I make no promises that I can change his mind. That's all I ask. With your help, we have a chance to make a better life for ourselves here. For that, I thank you. You one of those Skyrim for the Nords types? Good. Too many Nords in this town have been listening to Ulfric's narrow-minded words. He's tough, loyal to his men, and a good leader. But if you're not a Nord, Ulfric will never trust you. Whenever a group of marauders attack a Nord village, Ulfric is the first to sound the horn and send the men. When a group of Dark Elf refugees gets ambushed, a group of Argonians or a Khajiit caravan, no troops, no investigation. Nothing. There's a group of cutthroats out there right now that Ulfric doesn't lift a finger to bring to justice. As long as they don't threaten Nord land. That's a brave offer. I'd be happy to throw in my coin behind that. You deal with them. I'll make sure you get paid. Maybe this old soldier will throw in some lessons as well. Help the Dark Elves. Oh, you must have heard me talking to Malfir. The Dark Elves live in a run-down slum called the Grey Quarter. Ulfric's content to keep it that way. I guess they think I can open Ulfric's eyes to their plight, and get him to lift a finger on their behalf. I'm trying, but Ulfric is set in his ways. For him, there's two kinds of people in this world. Nords, and the folk beneath them. I killed a lot of High Elves in the Great War, and I didn't die. I guess that makes me a war hero. The Great War. There was nothing great about it. Thousands died on both sides. And where did it get us? Did we really save the Empire? Or did we just plant the seeds for Ulfric's uprising? And another war. Show those marauders what Windhelm justice tastes like. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. I like to share my good fortune with those who deserve it. I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Do come again. Trader dropped by recently with some lovely pieces, if you'd like to have a look. All right then. Hmm. Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. 
Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. You're telling me. Uh, until next time. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. How splendid. Another Nord. Where else would we be? When the Red Mountain burned, you could scarcely breathe in Morrowind. So we came west. Windhelm was the first city on that road. And here we are. If we had known the Nords would be so unwelcoming, we may have kept walking. Well, you see where we have to live. This forgotten alley. All the filth from the upper quarters flows downhill, like they say. Good luck getting one of the guards to help with anything. I'll try to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squalor, but the High Lord of His Mightiness couldn't find the time. The College of Winterhold is the only place in Skyrim open-minded enough to teach magic. Although Ulfric's court wizard has been known to take on apprentices once in a while. If you need another drink, I'll be right here. Come slumming to the Grey Quarter, have you? Have a seat. There should be plenty of space. Apparently, some Nord women were murdered. Not sure why I should care. None of that matters to me. Until someone takes a Dunmer, I'll let Windhelm deal with its own problems. Until next time. Fine. What? You lost? And what might you need, hmm? I hissed. If I don't get something soon, I don't know how I'll get through the week. No, I'm not. 
I feel like my scales are clawing into me. Maybe you could help an old Argonian out? I heard some of the sailors talking about how they stashed a bottle of double distilled skooma in the Nissus Corner Club. I just need a taste. Hissed spit on you. I would not complain if you returned with some skooma. Yes? I don't like strangers. The Nords don't appreciate us. So what? I don't appreciate them right back. Look, we don't have much love for your kind down here. Probably best if you just left. The docks can be a dangerous place. Don't expect me to save you if you fall in. Yes? Tidings. Hmm? We're used to getting by on scraps, but the Shatter Shields want everything for nothing. Torbjorn Shatter Shield. I wish someone would beat the coin out of his fat fists. He clings to every septum. He says an Argonian's labor is only worth a tenth of a proper Nord worker. My people are not slaves. You can try, but we've gotten nowhere talking to him ourselves. We work where we can get work. The Nords don't like unloading their ships, so we do it instead. Sometimes cargo goes missing. I came here as a hatchling. The only thing colder than Skyrim is the Nords themselves, but we stick together. Mm hmm. I wish the Nords are gone. Dark Elves and Windhelm got along better. Skyrim isn't very friendly for our Argonians, so we mostly just keep out of the way. Shavi knows the dock doesn't look nice, but fresh air is good for the guilds. Oh yes, after all, what's the point in being miserable all the time? I know life on the docks isn't easy. Sometimes life puts you in difficult circumstances you didn't choose. But being happy or unhappy is a choice you make. And I've chosen to make the best of things that I can. I enjoyed our talk. What is it? Dragons? Watch the skies, traveler. I have to wonder. What does the Dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thum be taught, like any skill? One of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Mm-hmm. Looking for shipping? We always offer better service than the East Empire Company. Until next time. These lazy Argonians better get their tails moving. Until next time. You hear about the Shatter Shield girl? Oh, it's a tragedy. Safe travels. Torbjorn wants the shipping operations to bring in cash, and I make it happen. <clears throat> Safe travels. Hmm. All right then. And what might you need, hmm?
What? What is it now? Mention it, I think. Come and browse my fine selection. Everything's fresh and delicious. I have Take home wind helms. I don't haggle. If you want a lower price, look elsewhere. It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in that slum. Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. Is that so? And what were you thinking exactly? Thank you for... Well, I've heard awful stories about these Thalmor, and how they're rounding up everyone who still worships Talos. The interrogations are quite merciless, from what I've heard. I fear for you and your husband, should the Thalmor come here. But perhaps there's a way I can help. I doubt Ulfric would let Thalmor into Windhelm without a fight. But please, do continue. How would you help us? Well, let's just say that I know some people who are experts at helping others disappear when they need to. They are discreet and thorough, though not inexpensive. I hope you'll keep that in mind should the worst come to pass. We accept the risks that come with our faith, but I'll keep your offer in mind. Thank you, Naranya. I travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? Suppliers, but the war tools are scarce. Both sides. You know about Talos? He founded the Empire. We've been getting by with one Could Need something? I'll be sure to stress your urgency. Everything you see is grown at my family's own Holly Frost farm. Fresh and filling. I also do a little herb growing. The court wizard Woundfirth pays us to plant a little nightshade. Who knows what he uses it for? Hey, could you deliver this bottle of nightshade extract to Woundfirth? Thanks. There's an old saying that only a Nord can work the soil in Skyrim. I don't think anyone else would have the patience for it. It takes half a day just to dig a planting row in the cold, stony earth here. But what else can we do? Eat rocks and ice? Good day to you. Maybe just the cuirass? Fruits and vegetables, all ripe delicate. and ready. You need for your anything, table. come see me. I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. Wherever I can find them. If you're the type who worries over where something came from, you may want to move on. I'm a dark elf and I live in Windhelm, so yes, I live in the Grey Quarter. You must be new around here. Or you'd know they don't let my kind live anywhere outside that slum. Be sure to stop by Sadri's used wares in the Grey Quarter. I'll be fine. <laughs> Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. We don't know what's inside. Uh, I'll... I can... <coughs> Just... <coughs> you see, you're not well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. Now, if there was a tonic that could help me, I would have found it by now. So close to the answer. Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file, but this doting busybody won't let me get it. You would do that? It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker, Kural Mill. 
in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kuralmil was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach its resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, don't, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. A legendary bottle, forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... poetry. I have spent my entire life searching for it. It brought me all the way to these frozen reaches from the warm embrace of Somerset Isle. Entire years spent in libraries, seeking out tiny villages with local legends that contain but a whisper of a hint of the file. I even named my shop after it, hoping that it might attract anyone who had heard of it. And now it's within my grasp. But the eight, it seems, <coughs> have chosen me for their amusement. For in my current condition, I'll never be able to lay my hands on it. Why are you still standing around here? Go get me the file, you fool! My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. I'm sorry to always be so hard on you, boy. I just worry I don't have much time left. I know, master. Don't say such things. There is always time. Don't be so sure. Now, have you finished grinding the dried snow berries? Um, no. Not yet. I'm sorry, I was reading up on the effects of distillation. What? You've been lollygagging in idle reading? No, I, I was trying to... Out of my sight! I'll never have Master Norellian skill with potions. Are you kidding? I came all the way from Cyrodiil just to work with him. He's... He's not the best teacher, but... Just I don't watching him, I've learned so much. That's what you're here to do. It doesn't matter what I believe. Norellian does. And it might be the only thing keeping him alive right now. All right, then. May the eight guide you to the file. Take a look. Welcome. Oh, let me know if you want anything. I think I've got a clean mug around here. Somewhere. I can't talk now. Those boots aren't worth the septums I do pay them. I'm not giving them coin I could give to good Nord workers. Bold words, but true. Fine, you win. I'll pay the Argonians more coin. Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Are you joking? You just rented a room from me. Enjoy your stay, and don't break nothing. With a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed, and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know, the dragonborns come.
you lost? All right then. No hand. Oh, pardon me. Was I in your way? My pa used to say, there ain't no use worrying about the things you can't change. If it's my fate to be ended by a dragon, so be it. Meantime, I'll live my life the way I want to. Sometimes the difference between life and death is a swift steed. <sighs> I hope someday we'll get to know each other better. There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. Safe journeys, sword brother. They call me a war hero. I'm no hero. I'm just a soldier who didn't want to die. Until next time. If Ulfric had his way, anyone who wasn't a Nord would be shipped right out of Skyrim. Good day. The sooner this war ends, the sooner we can all get on with our lives. Good day. <laughs> Good day. You don't know what freedom really means until you've lived on the river. The North Wind is my mistress, and I'm her master. I don't tolerate any disloyalty. You looking for work? Got a sailor who thought running a gang of thieves would be more money than hauling my cargo. You make an example of that gang. I'll give you a year's worth of pay. The heart's the spirit, right? See you round. You lost? Skyrim isn't very friendly for Argonians, so we mostly leave it out of the way. Yes? You talked Torbjorn down? I'm impressed. Here I was, saving this for a rainy day. Maybe now I can afford a few more for my people. Take it. May the earth beneath your feet be always soft. Shaving up doesn't look nice, but fresh air is good for the gills. Good honest work staves off the cold. a straight answer he's a true nord he'll come around don't be so sure of that we've intercepted couriers from solitude the empire is putting a great deal of pressure on white run and what would you have me do if he's not with us he's against us he knows that they all know that how long are you going to wait you think I need to send Balgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing.
Whatever you've heard I can do is probably true. Ah, oh, yes. The extract. Good. Poisonous, of course, but uh, it has its uses. I suppose you want something for your trouble? Here. <coughs> no, but then I don't have much need for Ulfric. We both live well enough alone. Whatever I don't already know. Power is the crux of this world. There's always more of it to be had, if you look in the right places. <laughs> I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Strength and steel are well and good, but magic is the true power in this world. Let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Gotmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard <laughs> whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. That's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye, but in the meantime, we have a war to plan.
Let's get going. You know about Talos? He founded the Empire. I've spent my life serving Talos. I don't plan to stop now, no matter what the Empire says. Talos created the Empire. You'd think they'd show him more respect. The way I see it, Ulfric's fighting a holy war. Someday, all of Skyrim will worship Talos openly, as we do here. Yeah? 